Hi friends. Over the last couple of days, we've been thinking about what it means to be adopted into the family of God. Some people think that family is not a good metaphor for the church. One reason is that family connotes a closed system, a tight-knit group of people with shared experiences and unique customs and insider language that others find it difficult to break into. Think, for example, of how long it can take and how difficult it can be for a newlywed to finally fit into his or her in-law's family. Another reason that the family metaphor can be problematic is that some families are negative and hurtful and abusive. From impossible standards to physical abuse and everything in between, dysfunctional human families are not a good representation of what the church is intended to be. Of course, any metaphor has its limits, and different metaphors will be meaningful to different people. So don't get stuck in the metaphor or allow it to replace the truth that it is intended to represent. I think the beauty of the family metaphor in relation to faith is that the only way that anyone becomes a part of the family is by adoption. There is no exclusive insider group. All of us were once outsiders, estranged by our sin. And just as we were reconciled and united with God by grace, God's unmerited, unconditional, unlimited love of God in Jesus, so is anyone and everyone else. God's family is never closed. God's house is never full. There's always room for more. Whatever metaphor we might choose to use for the church, I hope that Centenary is a place where people find our gatherings to be more like family reunions than business meetings where people are more like brothers and sisters than casual acquaintances, where you can come broken and hurting rather than having to be polished and perfect, where we share all of life together, the good, the bad, the fun, the painful, the highs, the lows, the peace, and the conflict. In all of the heartaches, failures, and struggles we experience, the Spirit of Christ sustains us. The fellowship of the community of faith encourages us. And the adoption of God assures us that we are accepted, forgiven, and loved. It doesn't matter how far away we've been or how long we've been gone. We don't have to earn our way into the family or pass any kind of test. Our adoption into the family of God is not based on our merit, but it's based on the heart of God, which overflows with unconditional, unlimited, unmerited love for you and me and all the world. God is crazy about you, even if you are one of the crazy cousins in the family. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again soon.